Howdy, my name is Justin Tyone, and I am an HFTP Global Director. I'm coming to you from my uh, studio slash office um, here in Seattle, Washington, where I am the uh, department head for hospitality and tourism management for Highline College and the Central Washington University Des Moines campus. Uh, what I do as a professor is teach hospitality and tourism, and I could never do that without HFTP. Uh, all of the conferences I attend, the local chapter meetings, from the connections I meet at those to the information I'm able to gather, just keeping me on my toes and knowing what's going on in industry are integral to my success here. And so I'm going to create this video with the questions HFTP asked me to answer and uh, tell you why I love HFTP. I've been in HFTP for 18 years now. I know it's impossible to think that looking at how young I must be. Um, anyway, so 2001, I joined HFTP. I joined HFTP because Agnes DeFranco, a global past president, was my instructor at the University of Houston. I was an undergraduate student who desperately wanted to be a general manager at the time. I've learned better since. And I decided that that was the organization for me. This was the organization for me. And I joined Agnes DeFranco at a local chapter meeting. Building a real and meaningful connection with individuals who are professionals and share your professional interests. And I actually use that as a definition for professional associations in general, whether I'm looking at HSMAI, MPI, PCMA, and CLIA, um, AVIA, the list goes on and on depending on where you are in the hospitality and tourism industry. But for me, HFTP is number one. It's the most important. We have high tech. Um, and we have the local chapter meetings, and this is where I'm able to gather the most information that is the most difficult to find um, without assistance, um, if I didn't have HFTP. I would really stress that we're in an industry that is so reliant on, on individuals networking, but not only networking for jobs, I mean, yes, but also for the information we're in this fast changing environment whether you're looking at the financial side or you're looking at the technology side it's changing so fast and if you don't have reliable sources of information not that you can just read but that you can discuss that you can learn from others case studies as well as best practices and then you can share those with them and without hftp i wouldn't have that for me in particular, I'm more on the financial side. I, I'm very revenue management driven. Um, that's one of my favorite courses to teach and, and to reach out and discuss. But within revenue management, it comes down to that financial aspect side. And through HFTP, I'm able to meet people all the way from the hotel owners and the corporate side, all the way to the frontline individuals through our young professionals and our student chapters, where I'm able to speak with them and learn what does the future look like? How can we get uh, those very top products ent entering our industry from the top hospitality schools. So when someone says, why should you join them? It's to keep a holistic understanding of our industry, um, both from the levels that people are at in their jobs and in their career, all the way to the breadth of information as it covers finance and technology. I wanted to take you through two. I remember my very first HFTP chapter meeting. I was 18 or 19 years old. I was in Houston, Texas. My hands were clammy. There were six students. We stood all by ourselves in a corner and hoped no professional spoke to us. We were terrified. And I overcame that through the professionals in our local chapter coming to us, being kind, wondering about us and our careers. And of the, say, 30 individuals who were at that meeting, I bet 20 of them are on my Facebook today and I still talk to at conferences, events, and that sort of thing um, at least once a year. And when you think about the longevity there, like, you know, 18 years I've been knowing the people I met at my very first conference, that's astounding. Um, and a couple of them have become my best friends. Um, and then uh, at the conference, my very first uh, conference for HFTP was HFTP Annual in Phoenix, Arizona in 2001. And once again, I was nervous. I was one of only three students at the conference and there were maybe 600 professionals. 
And I just had some amazing professionals around me who took me by the hand, who introduced me to the people they thought I needed to know. And some of them became my lifelong mentors. The very first person I ever met uh, outside of my Houston chapter, um, I was taken and met a guy named David Crisco. He was president of the, of the Toronto chapter at the time. And I ended up doing my master's degree in Toronto. I was a professor in Toronto for five years. And David Crisco was just the most important person in my professional life for, for a decade. Uh, I never went a month without speaking to him when I was living in Toronto for my master's and, and as a professor. So um, HFTP has really driven everything about my career over the last 18 years. I love it. I wouldn't be here without it. And there isn't just one person or one part of the organization. It's really holistic. And I love HFTP for that.